Uh, yesterday, in our Telegram group, EBM Scholars Telegram group, the link will be in the description, uh, there was a discussion about the diseases which can uh, stop someone being given the diversity visas despite being the winners. And the people started mentioning a lot of diseases, and most of them, they were not true. Uh, and someone even came to my inbox and asked me, uh, does hepatitis A or B, whatever, does it stop you from being given the visa? I said, no. I asked why, oh, there is this discussion in the group and the people are talking uh, about, oh, you know, if you have hepatitis B, because it's not, you cannot be uh, fully uh, treated and just completely go away. So for that particular case, they are not allowing to come to the United States. Some people, oh, if you have cancer, or oh, if you have uh, this, this, and this, you're not going to come. So let me go back a little bit, explaining, first of all, the purpose of the medical overall, and what are the things which are going to check. The medical is just the, just overall, is not going to go and deeper to analyze your medical condition. It is just a quick overview of your medical uh, history. That's number one. Uh, on that particular case, they are going to check, first of all, the vaccination. That's number one they are going to look at. Nowadays, you must be COVID vaccinated, fully vaccinated to be given a green card or to visit the United States. So that's number one. But they are going to look also other uh, vaccination if you had other vaccination. Let's put that aside. Number two, they are going to look about tuberculosis. They are going to test you on tuberculosis. Unfortunately, majority of Africans had the tuberculosis vaccine. So usually the tuberculosis vaccine, how they do, what do they do? They come here on your skin here, they put a certain liquid, they do injection. And then after 24 hours, you go back, they are, when you go back, they are going to see if there is a bump, that means you have tuberculosis. If you, there is no bump, there is no tuberculosis. But because you have the uh, tuberculosis vaccine, usually there is a bump because of that reaction. So in easy way, most of the African uh, physicians or doctors, even here for myself when I go, I usually you are going to do the X-ray. So if they do X-ray, they prove that you don't have uh, you don't have the TB or tuberculosis. Why are they concerned about tuberculosis? Because in the United States, tuberculosis has been eradicated 100% many years ago. So people are not going to be vaccinated with tuberculosis. So they want to make sure that if you are the DV lottery winner or you are going to be given a green card by marriage or by work, you have to be treated tuberculosis if you have or to prove that you don't have at all. So even if you come, to, they come to find out you have tuberculosis, they are not denying you the visa. They will tell you, go and get it treated and do another test. If you come here with the negative test, then we are going to give you the visa. But they are not denying you because you have tuberculosis. They are not going to check if you have HIV AIDS. And even if you have, they are not going to stop you to come to America. If you have a hepatitis B, whatever any disease, most of the disease, they are not going to stop you or deny you the visa. They will deny you the visa if you have a certain type of disease which has been proven it can cause a majority harm like mass shooting. That means uh, it can be a certain mental disease which has been proven, because not every mental disease is going to create a mass shooting. You take the gun and go and shoot the school, all that kind of things. No. So if it has been proven that you have done certain kind of those activities or certain issues of that situation because of your, medical, your me mental health or medical condition, that they'll be able to deny. It has to be proven that in your country, you have done a similar thing of harming majority of people based on your mental health. That will be denied. And if they come to find out 
you are a severe drug use addict at that certain level, you are not going to be given the... If you have ever used it before and you are treated, whatever, you are back, but they are talking about right now, the day you are going there, you are already someone injecting you with a drug and using cocaine and other crazy things. No, they are not going to give you the visa. But being having HIV, being having, having this type of a disease, they are not going to stop you from getting the visa. So those are some of the important things you need to know about the medical. That what things in the medical can cause you to be denied the visa. Just any other disease, no. Unless other is the disease which has been proven with evidence that you have caused the harm in your community, like mass shooting and all other kind of things, yes. But not just like normal disease, you have this. Or it's because you cannot be treated. You have asthma, you have cancer, you have whatever. No. If you have any disability, they don't stop you. You, 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 you. you are blind. You have this type of one leg. You have whatever. No, that doesn't become any reason for you to be denied the visa. So, now you know.